Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today I want to talk in more detail about Behemoth, the next monster getting added to World on August the 2nd. This morning Capcom Japan had a live stream where they showed off the very first gameplay against Behemoth. It was a really cool showing since you had Monster Hunter producer Ryozo, game director Tokuda and art director Kaname up on stage alongside Final Fantasy XIV producer Yoshida and together they took on Behemoth. And I've got to say it looks like a really cool fight but at the same time it's also quite different to what you might expect as Monster Hunter players. While the underlying experience remains the same, there are a couple of Final Fantasy XIV style mechanics that have been worked into the fight that mean the way you tackle it will likely have to be ever so slightly different. Of course, if you've played Final Fantasy XIV as well, then you'll be more familiar with these, but either way, it's really cool to see the attention to detail they've put into this collaboration. So in this video, I'm gonna go over all the information we currently have while letting the fight play out in the background. I'll fast forward a few segments to just get to all the relevant bits, but for the most part, this will give you a good chance to see how the fight plays out. Of course, if you do enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated and be sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys think and if you have any questions. Now, to begin with, let's start at the top with the basic information. Again, as a reminder, this quest will go live on August the 2nd, and for those of you worried about time, then don't be. Behemoth is going to be a permanent addition to the game, so you can hunt it to your heart's content. The quest is called He Taketh It With His Eyes. You'll need to be HR 16, that's 1 6 or higher, and the time limit for the quest is 35 minutes. They also said if you haven't augmented your gear yet, then you're definitely going to want to because this guy hits like a truck. Additionally, while most quests in Monster Hunter are typically designed to scale for single player or multiplayer, for this particular quest, they strongly advise you do it in multiplayer. Now to be clear, I fully expect some of our speedrunner friends to completely ignore that and solo it anyway, but as you'll understand shortly, there's good reason for doing this in multiplayer. Long story short, it's going to be a tough fight. See, one of the things they worked into this fight from Final Fantasy XIV is the concept of enmity building. For those of you that haven't played XIV, enmity is aggro, and aggro is the monster's attention. And while in game right now, a monster does focus on a particular hunter for, say, a move, generally speaking, it'll rotate throughout the group somewhat evenly, unless you have Challenger Mantle. The Behemoth fight, however, allows for a little bit more control. See, for those of you that perhaps haven't played MMOs before, then the concept of aggro allows party members to draw the focus of an enemy. This typically falls to the tank, they build aggro, or enmity, in Final Fantasy XIV, and this means the enemy will continue attacking them, allowing the rest of the team, DPS and healers, to focus on either dealing damage or healing. And in this quest, that also applies. Players that attack Behemoth's head can build enmity, and when you have the Behemoth's attention, you'll notice this thin red line. This means he's focusing on you, and all while you have his focus, the rest of your team can deal damage without having to worry too much about him changing focus. Naturally, that makes Lance and Gunlance players exceptional choices for this role. While not exclusively their job, I mean you could hold aggro and just roll and dodge, having the ability to stand your ground and guard is for sure going to be helpful. However, generating and holding enmity isn't just that the rest of your team can deal damage, there's another important factor too. See, during the fight, Behemoth will rain down comets, these little rocks, and these play a very important role later on. When they land down, they'll remain on the stage, but Behemoth can destroy them if he attacks them. So as the player holding aggro, it's also your job to draw him away from these. The reason for this is because he has a move called Ecliptic Meteor, the one you saw in the trailer where he calls down a giant meteor. This move has gigantic range, and if you're hit by this, it is an instant faint. It doesn't matter if you have guts, it doesn't matter if you have fully augmented gear with max health boost and mega armor skin, if you're hit by this, you are dead. And given the radius of the attack, you also can't outrun it. So what do you do? Well that's where the comets come in. See before Behemoth does an ecliptic meteor he will call in comets. So provided you're able to keep him away from them so he doesn't destroy them, then when the meteor comes in you'll have to get behind these. Standing behind the comets is the only way to survive the attack. Additionally you cannot use Farcasters during the ecliptic meteor. So for anyone that thought of doing that, they physically won't work when he begins the meteor attack. So now you can begin to see why hunting a team is important. So you have someone to draw aggro or enmity, and then keep them away from the comet so you can use them when the meteor drops. This means if you want to be super organized, you want to do this as a party where everyone has their roles. Ideally, someone with defense oriented weapons will be your tank at the head, holding Behemoth's attention, while the others will chip away at his health and heal the team where necessary. You can also cut off Behemoth's tail, you can break its horns, and upon defeating him, you'll also get six calves. He is classed as an Elder Dragon, you can tell that by the blue Scout Flight Trail, so that means traps won't work, but you can still use abnormal status effects, so you can paralyze him, put him to sleep, poison him, that sort of stuff. As for elements, they recommend water element weapons, plus given the damage he deals, they also said that health augment is going to be really important too. 
But if you can overcome that, then the sweet Dragoon armor and the Insect Glaive will be yours. Now a couple of other cool things worth calling out. And this is just more attention to detail stuff, but you might notice that the damage numbers in the fight are different. They behave like they do in Final Fantasy XIV instead of how they do normally in World. When you start the quest, the beginning message also mirrors the Final Fantasy XIV font. The background music has two phases to it, and upon completing the quest, you'll also get the Final Fantasy Victory fanfare music. So all up, a really cool and very different fight, and definitely a kind of respectful collaboration. I'm for sure super looking forward to this one, and once it drops, you can expect much more in-depth videos going over absolutely everything. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit more gameplay to round out the hunt. But thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. Oh, <laughs> りょうさんちょっともっと奥来て頭あかんって狭くないそこ頭あかんよ邪魔やろこれえ嘘<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>敵取りにくいですね。一回眠らせますよ。はい、お願いします。眠らせました。オッケー。眠るとこ先輩。爆弾置いて。爆弾置いて。で、その後お嬢さん敵視。頭。うん、狙ってお願いします。はいよ。よ
<笑>なんで力尽きたのにしないんですか<笑><笑>やべえ氷やばいぞコメットの位置確認しといてくださいよ、はい、こっちキス取りたいですねもう一回そうやなもう一回行きたいがあの竜巻のとかちょっと嫌やなヒールスポン僕です<笑>端に置きます足を置きましたやばいコメットやばいやばい,やばい敵し取りたい敵し取りたいオッケーオッケー違うってだから量産量産じゃなくてウイス危ない侮辱さん敵し取りたい,りたいやばいやばい俺取っちゃうこれ取っちゃいますよこれ高速プラッタちょっとやばいやばいやばいぞみんな無理かあ、よってる取ったナイスナイス取った俺ミールストームミールストームやばいやばいうわあやばいミールストームこれ動逃げれないな俺<笑>もうちょい内側行くかもうちょい内側行くかこれ俺もう隠れとくねちょっとえ<笑>は<笑>何言ってんのこの人<笑>ちょっと僕の僕のやばいやばいやばいやばいよしヒールヒールヒールして隠れてていいからヒールして<笑>ちょプロデューサー2人安全にヒール<笑><笑>急に<笑>急に安全策に<笑>我々我々プロデューサーなんで<笑><笑>よく見てるよ見えてるよ戦況は見えてる戦況はダメージ与えないと勝てないですよ<笑>応,援応援はしてる<笑>応援はしてる<笑>このまじりになるよ。そう今できて隠れてるからね。<笑>やばいな。エクリプス。よっしゃ。やばい。隠れててよかった。やばいやばいやばい。俺やばいんじゃうか。どっちや。どこへ。どこへ。どこへ。どこへ。やばいよ。もうちょい。おやおよかった。やった。やった。<笑>やった<笑>やった<笑>これ最後なんだ。なんでやった。やった。な何で。<笑>